Before we get making the sails, I want to mention that there's three other areas I will cover at the end of this series. The first is uh, making the knives and the swords that you see on the screen. And the second is the treasure chest with the gold coins. And third, on the wheel, you can see it's darkened. That was bright silver. How to darken different metals and make them look aged. Things like the anchor chains, the anchors. As far as the instructions that came with the ship, the kit, I didn't use any of the sail ideas because I did my masts and sails completely different. Well, I've learned that the supports for the sails that cross the mast are called yards. And I made these by measuring a little short of what the yards measure across and then just a little uh, in length a little bit more than where it would reach the next lower yard. Each is made from cardstock and then I can reuse it as a pattern to make sails for each different ship. This next group of this next group of sails are called jibs and they go at the front of the ship and to make these they're kind of triangular but I actually downloaded a photograph of a ship that I found online and then use that as a pattern to make these. And speaking of jibs, I need to do the, uh, the front jib system on the ship. So let me show you that and then we'll do the sails. But you can see it here at the front of the ship and it's relatively simple to make. This is probably the best photograph that I have and you can see it's kind of T-shaped. It's much like a mast and then you do tie on a smaller piece to the front In many cases that would be just the opposite. It would be tied on top of the one leading back to the ship but I just do whatever I think looks the best at the time. To make the crossbar part I used a piece from the kit marked V2 and was able to make the T section of the jib. I'm cutting those pieces out now and filing them a little bit smoother and then I will cover the edge with the black magic marker just so it's not bare and super glue it onto the jib, two different pieces. I do this different each time and the next step will be to tie some additional lines so there's a little peg there with two holes in it for the line to go through and you can see me securing it there and then I'll run that up to those extensions and then to the very tip of the jib and that gives me that kite shape with the with the uh, rope lines then next I will uh, from the T the outside of the T's take two lines and they will eventually run up to the masts but I'll just secure them now and then lay them across uh, the outside of the yard Utilizing the material that came with the ship, the stencils that I made, I take a magic marker and outline those stencils. Then I take the tacky glue and go along just on and inside the magic marker. Then once that dries, I cut along the edge of the dried glue. That will help prevent fraying of the material, regardless of what kind of material you use. And the tacky glue that I've been using does not show. Once it dries, uh, you cannot see the glue on the edge so that's been very good so here's the triangular pieces for the jib same thing with those and once they're cut out then I can start putting them on the ship there's the finished pieces in this particular instance I'm tying the lower sail in the closed position I actually prefer that but you can see on these other ones I just take a drop of super glue and start at the, the uh, yard, top of the yard and just tack them on there lightly and then to get a curve I'll put just a little dab of glue at a contact point that will hold that sail in that position so it has a little bit of a like wind behind it appearance in no particular order uh, now I've switched to the jib sails and there's names for each one and what I've determined is to sew a little loop on different uh, 
inch marks of those sails. So that's what I'm doing here, obviously fast forwarding. But I'm just making a little loop and then I can string that on there and I can move that sail up and down to where I want it. So once I get them all on, I will adjust to where I think they look the best and then just a little dab of uh, super glue or the tacky glue, either one works and I'll put them in the exact position that I want. There I'm just putting glue on all the little knots that I tied so they won't come undone. Snip off the loose strings and now we can move towards the uh, back part, the back sails. As soon as I finish up all this little gluing. Okay, I think we're good. Trimming up all the little loose threads. Now, oh, and then on the point of each one of those jib sails, I also put a, a line and then I'll tie it back to a point on different uh, spots on the, the ship itself to hold that in place a little bit better and give it the proper form. And that's just by feel, you know, so that it's the proper angle of line and tie it there. Sometimes it takes a few minutes to get it exactly where I want. Plus, I'm working all around all the different lines that I've strung. So I'm still working on when it's best to do certain things. Now it's time to do the back sails. And here I've done the same thing. I've already marked them and glued them and let the glue dry, cut them out. And I had to adjust the size a little bit. But there we go. You can see how they're all temporarily glue. Now I'm making that little airfoil and just a little touch of glue at a point where it it touches anything. It can be a, one of the lines or it can be one of the yard rails. So now I'm just uh, tying up that other back sail. I think it looks better that way and the finished product.